Welcome to video 138 in series 3, and now I'll write the Melee standard input script. Okay, I'll make a, a new folder here, and I'll call it Melee Scripts. And I'll make a new script. Melee standard input. Okay. Right, so private melee master, melee master, private transform, my transform, private float next swing, public string attack button name. Uh, no need for the on enable, on disable methods. Now in set initial references, I'll say that my transform is equal to transform, and melee master uh, is equal to get component, and of course melee master. And I'll call set initial references up here. Okay. Now I have a new method. Void check if weapon should attack. If time dot time scale is greater than zero, so the game's not paused, and my transform dot root dot compare tag game manager references dot player tag. And not melee master dot is in use. So if it's already being swung, it can't be uh, swung again while it is in the process of swinging. Okay, that's the first lot of checking. Now if input dot get button, and that is attack button name, and Time dot time is greater than next swing. If that's all satisfied, then next swing is equal to time dot time plus melee master dot swing rate. Okay. Melee master dot is in use is now equal to true and melee master dot call event player input. Okay, and let's run this and update to check if weapon should attack. Good. All right, I believe that's uh, everything here. So let me go back to Unity and attach it to the crowbar. And I'm pretty sure this is called Fire 1. Let me just check on the uh, assault rifle that that is the uh, case. So gun Standard input, fire one. Okay, good. Uh, so nothing will happen. I can run it right now. And of course, if I left click, absolutely nothing will happen. Which is, uh, well, well, we have to write the next script. So let me just apply that so it's saved to the prefab. And thanks for watching, and move on to the next video.